The Russian Defense Ministry has said that Ukraine launched over a 100 drones at military targets in Russia, claiming that they have downed 117 UAVs. During the past night the air defense systems destroyed four tactical missiles and 117 aircraft-type UAVs, Russian Defense Ministry said. The Russian Defense Ministry claimed that 37 drones and four missiles were destroyed over Kursk Oblast, another 37 UAVs over Voronezh Oblast, 17 drones over Belgorod, 11 over Nizhny Novgorod, 9 over Volgograd, 3 over Bryansk, 2 over Oryol and 1 over Rostov Oblasts. As usual, the ministry remained silent about the consequences of these drone attacks or the damage they have caused. Earlier, Russian telegram channels reported that drones had attacked three Russian air bases. In particular, there was information about an attack on the Savaslika air base in Nizhny Novgorod Oblast, which serves as a takeoff point for Russian MiG 31K fighter jets. Ukraine's Air Force frequently reports the takeoff of MiG 31K fighters, which can carry Kinzhal missiles, from the Savaslika air base. As a result of which, air raid warnings were issued across Ukraine. There were also reports of an attack on the Baltimore Air Base in Voronezh, which resulted in a fire. In addition, local media reported drone attacks and explosions in the town of Borisoglebsk in Voronezh Oblast, with residents claiming that the air base was on fire following the UAV attack. Давайте, ребятки, хоть один сбейте нахуй. Пизда нахуй. Ловить ашурки нахуй. Опа. Ох. Вот это да. Russia has prepared its fleet to launch nuclear-tipped missile strikes against targets in Europe. The Financial Times reports this, citing secret documents it has obtained. They say that the Russian fleet is trained to fire nuclear-tipped missiles at targets deep in Europe in the event of a potential conflict with NATO. Even before Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the military provided NATO officers with maps of likely targets, some as far away as the west coast of France and barrow in furnace in the UK. The documents show how Russia envisioned a conflict with the West and planned a series of overwhelming strikes against Western Europe. The secret documents, compiled between 2008 and 2014, include a list of targets for missiles that could carry both conventional warheads and tactical nuclear weapons. Russia has retained the ability to deploy nuclear weapons on surface ships, which experts say carry significant additional risks of escalation or accidents. The documents also note that the Navy's high maneuverability allows it to carry out sudden and preemptive strikes and massive missile strikes from multiple directions. Nuclear weapons are generally intended to be used in combination with other weapons to achieve Russia's goals, the documents say. The publication notes that the documents were provided by Western sources. Analysts who have reviewed them say the contents are consistent with how NATO assesses the threat of long-range missile strikes from the Russian Navy and the speed with which Russia is likely to resort to nuclear weapons. The publication notes that the maps were made more for presentation purposes than for operational use. They depict 32 NATO targets in Europe, the Baltic Fleet's targets are located mainly in Norway and Germany, including the naval base in Bergen, as well as radar stations and special forces facilities. The Northern Fleet is expected to hit defense industry sites such as the submarine yard at Barrow in Furness. In Northwest Britain. At the same time, former NATO official William Alberk, who now works at the Stimson Center, said that this sample is only a small part of the hundreds, if not thousands, of targets mapped across Europe. Russia's ability to strike across Europe means targets across the continent will be at risk once the Russian military engages NATO forces in the Baltics and Poland, analysts and former military officials say. Their concept of war is total war. They see these things as potentially victorious weapons. They will want to use them, and they will want to use them fairly quickly, said Jeffrey Lewis, 
a professor at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies in Monterey. Tactical nuclear weapons have a shorter range and are less destructive than the large strategic ones intended to attack the United States. However, they can still release significantly more energy than those dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima in 1945.